where it pinches. Current and former athletes came out in droves to pay their last respects to slain a former 10K world record holder Agnes de Rop as her body was laid to rest. Steve Kater takes us through how the sports people walked with the late Olympian in her last lap. The late Agnes T. Rob Sendov was a two-day affair with at least from across the country involved in her last journey. <laughs> On Friday, many marched in the streets of Eldoret protesting gender-based violence as they escorted T. Rob's body to her parents' home in Kapnyamise village, Nandi County, for a requiem mass. <laughs> On Saturday, don't in Team Kenya Justice, the Kenyan athletes were among the first group of mourners to arrive for the funeral service. Tunasema pole sana, pole kwa familia. Wacha mungu wa fariji. Wacha mungu ata wapi mtoto mungine kwa familia enyu mwenye. Ata wainua tena kama vila Agnes. Alu wainua mbaka mkajulikana. In a moving gesture, they were joined by the Ugandan counterparts, led by the 10,000 and 5,000 meters world record holder Joshua Cheptegei, and Olympics 3,000 meters triple chess champion, Peruth Chemtai. When we learned that our sister was actually slain, it was really a dark and sad moment for us. So we have come in solidarity uh, to show that uh, we really condemn such acts in a very big manner. This as Athletics Kenya announced changes to next year's showpiece event in honor of the slain long-distance athlete. The other day we were also given a cross-country continental tour to host here in Kenya. We are going to honor our athlete Agnes Tirob by giving her the name of Agnes Tirob Memorial Cross Country Tour in Eldore. Agnes Tirob's rise in the world of athletics was a steady one. Since she first represented Kenya in 2012 at the African Cross Country Championships held in Cape Town, South Africa, bagging silver in the junior race to her last national assignment in Tokyo 2020 Olympics, where she finished fourth in the 5,000 meters race. Her life was sadly cut short just as her career was picking up. Today, she would have celebrated her 26th birthday. Steve Keter, NTV Sport.